What's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own personal workspace within Microsoft Teams. Let's go. So here we are in Microsoft Teams. And yes, Teams is the hub for teamwork, but I also like to use it for my personal workspace. So let's click on join or create a team. And we're going to create a team from scratch. And it's going to be a private one. Let's name it my workspace. Boom. Let's create it. So now the team is uh, being uh, created. We're already done in the next step. We can uh, skip this because we don't have to add any members. It's just going to be for me, myself, and for I. Um, I like to start with my uh, to-dos. I like to have my to-dos all in one place. The application that I use is Planner. I'm going to create a new plan. The name Tasks is uh, perfectly fine by me. So now we've set up the uh, planner application for all your to-dos. The way that I've set this up is I've created a few new buckets. So one is uh, today, uh, the other one is uh, this week. Then I'll have one waiting. And this one is, uh, let's say I have a to-do on my list, but I'm waiting for somebody else to complete something before I can finish my to-do. I like to drag that into uh, this bucket. And the last one, I'll name it the done. So now we have our bucket set up. And now you can start as your day goes on. You can capture all of these uh, different to-dos. So let's say we have to uh, prep uh, the sales meeting. And uh, uh, if you want to, you can uh, uh, you can set a start and a due date. If you will want to, you can set the priority. Uh, but I like to add a note, and that's get sales figures uh, figures from sales the excellence. I'll show this on the card, and now you have your to do right here with a little note under it. Uh, for now, it's on my to-do, but once I start working on this, so let's say I want to start working on this this week, I'll uh, drag it into this week, and now it's, uh, uh, let's say, the day comes that I start to work on the uh, preparation of the meeting, I'll move it straight into today. Now I'm going to start working on this uh, sales meeting. I can do that straight from Teams if I want to, if I want to work on a uh, PowerPoint. But now I need the sales figures from Sales Excellence. So let's say I send a message to uh, Sales Excellence. I'll drag it to Waiting. Uh, and that'll uh, help me to still keep track of this task that I have to do, but I know I have to wait for uh, somebody else. And then once it's done, I'll uh, track it into uh, one and uh, maybe even complete it uh, here. So that's for all of my tasks. Uh, I like to set up a, a OneNote as well. OneNote is the application that I use to keep all of my uh, notes. Um, you can uh, paste a existing one here if you already have one set up. Uh, you can create a new one or you can get the default one for the uh, the default one that's already part of the team. Because what Teams does is every time you set up a new team, it automatically adds a OneNote to that team. So let's rename this and we'll name it on Notes. Save it. Now what I also like to do is uh, uh, I'm a, a data guy. And I like to keep track of uh, some sales numbers. So let's add Power BI to it as well. And as we look at this, it's not only Microsoft applications. So the one that I'm mainly using are uh, Microsoft applications. But let's say you're using an application called Merle, which is uh, not a Microsoft application. You can add that as well, Salesforce. Salesforce and uh, many other applications are a part of this already. I think we have a couple of hundred that you can add already into your tab. And this really helps to avoid you having to switch from one application to the other. So we're going to add a, a Power BI. You can add an existing one if you want to. Uh, so let's find one here. Let's use the operations data. Let's save it. And let's rename this to uh, Data Insights. There we go. So now we have our tasks, our notes, and our data insights. Now let's say your company has a, a SharePoint site uh, as well. And we're going to add that one. Click SharePoint. And I'm unchecking this box uh, with every step that I take because I don't want to have to post that notification into the uh, channel. Uh, this is the uh, SharePoint that's uh, set up for this team. Again, you can add existing SharePoints uh, to this uh, as well. Let's use this one. And now you have your favorite SharePoint page that's up here. No news here since this is new. But then you have your favorite SharePoint up here as well. And then the last thing that I would like to do is maybe add a website. Uh, this could be uh, a search engine. Uh, what I also like to do is add my uh, LinkedIn because I'm on LinkedIn uh, quite a lot. So I like to add my LinkedIn and my Twitter to it as well. So I don't have to go 
to these websites. I can just open them straight from uh, from Teams, save it, and now we have our search engine uh, right uh, right here. So there you have it. Um, uh, I have one for all of my tasks with uh, uh, with Planner, my notes, my data insights, uh, my news, and my search all in one single place. So that's it. Now I don't have to switch between all of these different applications, and it re really helps me to stay into that flow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one.